Hey guys, this is Echo in Guatemala on beautiful Lake Atitlan on a beautiful sunny day. Um, super excited to share practice with you guys today and just kind of move in the body, open the heart space and create some opening across the front line of the body. So we're gonna do a little bit of a flow today that allows us to open across the collarbones, across the chest, into the belly and just working down the, you know, the deep front line and working with our liver meridian. So lots of energy moving around, but all that you need to know is just to connect with your breath, let your inhalations and exhalations come through the nostrils. And if you need to go a little bit slower or pause the video, do whatever you need to do to make this practice your own. And you can always go back and repeat if you want to try something out again. But really, the most important thing is, is that you feel good, you ground in, and you give yourself space to just be. All right, so let's start in a tabletop position. So in tabletop position, take an inhale, allow the belly to drop, look forward, nice open chest. On an exhale, round the spine, pull chin into chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, round. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, round. Come back to center. Take an inhale. Lengthen the left leg back behind you. Right arm forward. So pull the belly in here. Take an inhale. And on an exhale, pull the elbow towards the knee. Curl in. Create space. Inhale. Lengthen out. And exhale. Curl in. Inhale. Lengthen out. And exhale. Curl in. Inhale, lengthen, pause here. Bend the left knee back behind you. Take a hold of the left foot with the right hand and press into the hand, open the chest here. Looking forward, ground down through the left hand. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, set the right hand down, the left knee down. Inhale, lengthen the right leg up behind you. Left arm forward, straight line of energy. Keep the right hip in line with the left belly in. Take an inhale. And take an exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl in. And this time, inhale, lengthen, pause here. Bend the right knee back behind you. Reach with the left hand. Press in to the left hand with the right foot. Nice open chest. Open into the left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen back out. And exhale, left hand down, right knee to the earth. Take an inhale, allow the belly to drop again, open the chest. And then exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Come back to neutral, let the knees go wide, sink back towards the heels, fold in child's pose. Pause here, forehead to the earth. And let the head relax down. On an inhale, come forward to tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes under, press the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Pause here. Press through the palms, belly into spine. On an inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. And exhale, step the right foot through the hands. Set the left knee down to the earth. Inhale, reach the arms up. Nice open chest. Take an inhale. 
And on the exhale, sweep the left hand down behind you onto the left heel. If you have a block, you can use that. Right arm stretching up overhead. So coming into that half camel. Inhale, reach up both arms. And exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank. Exhale, knees and chest. Inhale forward, slide onto the belly. Open the heart space. Pause here. Exhale, hips to heels. Tuck the toes. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, cool the left knee through. Set the left foot down. Right knee to the earth. Inhale, reach up. Anjaneyasana. Nice open heart space. Allow the shoulders to retract down the back. Take an inhale. And exhale, sweep the right arm down and back towards the right heel. Lean the weight back. Open the chest. Reach back through the left arm. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale, lower all the way down to the earth. Belly down. Forehead to the earth. Come on to the fingertips outside the yoga mat. And take an inhale, peel the chest up. And exhale, wave the chest down, the head comes up, down last. Inhale, press through the pubic bone, lift the chest, open the heart as you press it forward. And exhale, wave down. So find where it feels good for your fingertips to press into the earth. Inhale, lift to your edge. And exhale, wave down. So don't come up any further than there's any pain in the lower back. Find your own level. Inhale up, and exhale down, twice more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And down to the earth, hands Alongside the body, right cheek to the mat. Inhale, bend the knees and take the hands to the outside of the ankles or to the inside. And bring the shoulders down the back. So decide what feels better for you. On an inhale, slowly lift up into the hands. Open the chest. Urdhva Dhanurasana. So again, don't push yourself to go further than your edge. Find that comfortable spot. Take an inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down, left cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body, release. So we'll do that once more. Inhale, bend the knees. And exhale, take a hold of the ankles. The next inhale, open the chest, press into the hands, lift, press your heart forward and open. Relax the muscles in the face. Take an inhale, lift even more. And exhale, fold down. Hands to the earth alongside the shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale, press to plank. And back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, bend the right knee, stack the right hip open over the left. Pause here. Take an inhale, and exhale. Set the right foot down behind you, flipping your dog. Press the hips up, reach the right arm forward. Open across the belly and chest. And you can bring the right palm to the back of the head. Open the heart even more, press down through the left palm. And 
and slowly bringing the right hand back down to the mat. Pull the right knee into the chest and set the right knee down behind the right wrist. Send the left leg nice and long. Open the chest first. Square the hips as much as you can and you can flex through the right toes towards the shins to protect the right knee. Take an inhale. And exhale, slowly wave the chest down, really pulling the heart forward as you come down into that Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. So pigeon pose. Can you use a block or a pillow or fist here stacked on top of each other to find some space for the head to rest? Peel the chest up. And so we're just going to give this a shot. This is always where you can go. So you can just stay here, opening the heart space, or you can begin to bend the left knee back behind you. Stay on the right fingers or right hand and reach the left hand back. Pull the left foot in. Maybe you can hook the left foot in to the left elbow crease. And if not, just stay in that first variation. If you're here, inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, bring the fingers together, clasping here, opening the chest and heart even more. So it's a bit intense. If it's not feeling good for you today, just extend that left leg nice and long, and you can recline right back down into your pigeon pose. Let go of the bind, or everyone coming up if you're down. Tuck the back toes under, and press back downward facing dog. Pause here in between sides. Press through the palms. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee, stack the left hip open over the right. Set the left foot down behind you. Press the hips up, reach the left arm forward. Feel the stretch across the belly and the heart. And bring the left hand to the back of the head. Press the palm into the back of the head, head into the palm, supporting the opening of the chest and the left shoulder here. And inhale, let go of that back of the head and slowly come back over. Pull the left knee into the chest and set the left knee down behind the left wrist. Get the right leg nice and long, open the chest, and sink the hips, squaring them off, dorsiflexing the left toes towards the shins. Nice open chest, take an inhale. And an exhale, press the chest forward to the front of the room or wherever you're at, so they walk forward, folding down, forehead to the earth, block or creating those fists pillows here, just letting the head relax down. And slowly peel the chest up. Stay reclined if you would like. If you would like that more heart opening, you can bend the right knee back behind you. Also nice for the quad. Bring the right hand back behind you. Pull the right foot in towards the, the chest. And hook the right foot into the right elbow crease. Inhale, left arm reaches up. And maybe finding a bind, opening the heart space and the left shoulder here. Let go of the bind if you have it. 
everyone coming up. And this time, leaning the hips over to the left, sweep that right leg around, both legs come forward. Going to bend the knees, pull the knees into the chest, and slowly begin to rock down onto the back. And just rock from side to side here in Apanasana in relieving pose. And set the feet down on the earth. Press down through the heels as the hands press into the earth and inhale, press the hips up as you lift up. Bring the shoulders beneath you, clasp the hands and really press through the bottom of the heels here so that you can lift up through the thighs and the hamstrings, but release any tension in the glutes. Create sp space between the neck and the chin. And just breathe here. Keep the knees drawing in towards each other. Take two more breaths. And slowly lower the hips and roll the shoulders. And bring the hands underneath the glutes. Stretch the legs forward as if you're sitting on the back of the palms. Inhale, press into the elbows. Lift the chest and bring the head back behind you. Fish pose, Matsyasana. So more important that we have space underneath the back here in the upper thoracic than the crown of the head touching the ground. You can make fun little noises like a fish. And slowly bringing the back all the way down, bringing the hands out alongside the body. And then taking a short Shavasana here. So just allowing the back of the heart space to be supported by the ground. And the palms can shine up, allowing the energy lines of the arms to cross here, the front of the body. You can always pause the video and stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. And when you're ready, inhale, pull the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. And rock up to a seat. Take a nice cross-legged seat, sitting up nice and tall. Hands resting on the knees, palms shining up. Allow the heart space to be open and proud. And take an inhale, reach the arms up, open the eyes. And exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart space. Inhale, stretch the arms forward like you're holding a giant beach ball, palms together. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart space like you're waking up in the morning. Inhale, reach forward, sweep back. Exhale, open the chest, open the elbows. Last one. Inhale, reach forward, round the upper back, chin to chest. Exhale, open the elbows, open the heart. Come back to neutral hands on the knees, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring hands to heart center, shutting the eyes and bowing down towards self. And just seeking in a little gratitude for opening the heart today, for being a little bit tender and open with yourself. Giving yourself a little bit of love and compassion. Thumbs between eyebrows center, bowing down to Pachamama for supporting us. We say namaste. Thank you guys for joining me on the yoga mat this morning or afternoon or evening for a little bit of heart melting flow. Hope that you're feeling a little bit more tender and loved and compassionate towards yourself. For any more flows with me, you can find some free classes on my YouTube, which is youtube.com backslash echo, G-I-E-S-E-L, Widmer, W-I-D-M-E-R.com. 
Giselle's. That's youtube.com backslash Echo Giselle Widmer. And you can find adventures with me at echo, echo underscore around the world on Instagram and trainings and retreat at www.echoflow.com. It's a lot of echoes there. Um, but hope to see you on the mat someday. And if not, keep on unfolding your mat, unfolding a little bit more about yourself and staying curious. Thank you for joining me.